Welcome to another free tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to calculate the monthly payments for a loan or mortgage. Access has lots of great financial functions built into it. One of those is the PMT function that you can use to calculate a loan payment, a monthly loan payment, biweekly, quarterly, whatever your loan payment happens to be. The situation is you know the amount of the loan, let's say a $100,000 mortgage, you know the interest rate the bank is giving you, let's say 5%, and you know that you have a 30-year loan. You can use access to calculate what the monthly payment should be. Now you can set up these calculations directly in a form if you only want to do them one at a time, but I'm going to create a table for my data so I can store a bunch of different loans in there at the same time. So I'll create table design. I like to start off every table with an ID field, an auto number, whether I need it or not. So loan ID, that'll be my auto number. There are three bits of information that I need to calculate my payment. The first is the amount of the loan. Amount of loan, and that's going to be a currency value. Next, I need the interest rate. That's going to be a number. And in the properties down below, I'm going to change the field size to double because I need to be able to store fractional amounts. The format, percent. Next, I need the number of years or the number of periods. You can do loans of any length. You can do 18 months, you can do 30 years. Let's put in here number of years. And this will be a number of type long integers fine. You can do doubles if you want to, if you want to have fractions of a year, like four and a half, but we'll just stick the number of years. All right, that's all the data that I need right now, so I'm going to save this as my loan T, my loan table. No primary key defined, that's okay, yes. Access sets the loan ID as our primary key. Let's go ahead and close the table now. Now to put our calculations in, we'll use a query. So I'll come up top, I'll go to Create, Query Design. I'll bring in the only table that I have, which is my loan T. I'll bring in the star, so I get all the fields in my query. And right here, I can set up my PMT function now. So the monthly payment colon is going to be, PMT is the function we're using. PMT takes three bits of information. The first thing is it wants the interest rate, and it wants the interest rate divided by the number of payments per year. So in this particular case, if we're doing monthly payments, we'd say interest rate divided by 12, comma. The next bit of information is how many payments are you going to make? Well, in this particular case, it's going to be the number of years times 12, because I have 30 years, and it wants how many total number of payments. So in this case, times 12. And I put the divide by 12 and the times 12 in there, because if you're doing, let's say, weekly payments, you'd say divided by 52 and then times 52, for example. Or if you're doing just annual payments, you just leave it alone. Finally, the amount of the loan and then close that up that's all you need save it I'll call this my loan queue and let's run the query and take a look at what we get all right amount of loan let's say one hundred thousand dollars interest rate five percent number of years 30 and there's our result you can see the value there is negative five thirty six point eight two one six two and so on now, if you want to round this off, just come in here and format this column as a currency. Go to Properties, Format as a Currency. And in my full class, I teach you how to deal with that fraction of a penny problem. We don't want any Superman 3 issues. right? Run it now, and there you go. Now, Access shows it as a negative amount there because all of the financial functions work with payments in and payments out. So if you're getting money from the bank, 100000 you're giving money back, and that's represented as a negative amount. If you want to show that simply as a positive number, just multiply the whole thing here times negative 1 so no one gets confused. And now you can see what your payment is. That's very easy to do. So that's how you can calculate any of your payments. Let's say you've got a car loan. Let's say you've got a $30,000 car loan and you've got 4.25% over five years. There's your monthly payment, 555. 
Now, if you want to learn more about Access and its financial functions, check out my Access Expert Level 30 class. I'll put a link in the description. Access 30 is part six of my comprehensive function guide to Microsoft Access. There are a whole bunch of different financial functions you can use in Microsoft Access. We will go over all the different popular functions. We'll talk about understanding interest rates, annual percentage rates, and so on. We'll learn the difference between simple interest and compound interest. We will go more into detail with that loan calculator that we just built. I'll show you how to properly round off the numbers so that you don't end up with any fractions of a penny. We'll build an investment calculator. This is handy if you want to determine the future value of an investment. For example, I'm going to take $1,000. I'm going to put it in, the, in a savings account for one year at 3% with a $10 extra payment. And how much will I have after a year? And your answer is $1,040. We'll build an interest rate calculator so you can determine if you received a good interest rate from an investment. For example, you bought into a friend's business at $10,000. He wants to give you $15,000 back to buy you out, and you've had that investment for three years. Well, you got a 14.47 return on investment, so that's a good deal. Next, we'll build the millionaire calculator. This is one of my favorite things. You can use it to determine how long it's going to take you to become a millionaire. Or you can use it to plan for retirement or anything like that. For example, you know that you can afford to put away $1,000 a month. Your goal amount is $100,000 you're getting a 5% interest rate from your bank, Access will tell you it'll take about seven years for you to reach your goal. So that's good for planning for retirement. The initial deposit calculator is good for planning for something like a future expense. Like if you want to save for a wedding or for college funds, let's say you want to have $50,000 for the kid's college fund, you have an investment vehicle where you can get 5.75% back and you know you're going to need that money in 18 years. How much money do you need to squirrel away right now to hit that goal in 18 years? Well, the amount here, Access tells me, is about $18,000. That's the initial deposit calculator. How much money do I need to invest now to have X amount of dollars in the future? We'll build a house value calculator. How much house can you afford? If I know that I can pay $2,000 a month, no problem, and the banks give me a 7% interest rate, and I want a 30-year mortgage, I can afford a house of about $300,000. So that's the house value calculator. And finally, we'll learn a little bit about loan amortization. Now, I've got a whole separate seminar on loan amortization with all the different bells and whistles in it. But in this lesson, I'll teach you the basics. I'll show you how to calculate the interest portion and the principal portion of each of your loan payments. So you can say, okay, if, I, if my payment using the PMT function is 536 a month, after month one, the interest is 416 and the principal is only 120. And you can see how the, the banks like to backload the mortgages. You can also use it to determine your payoff amount. Let's say you've been paying on this loan for 15 years. Well, how much principal do I actually owe the bank right now? And this lesson will show you how to do that. So that is Access Expert Level 30. You can find it on my website at accesslearningzone.com. And of course, if you have any questions about this lesson, please feel free to post them in the comments. Thanks.